Hello and welcome to Country Sports TV. I'm in my little workshop at the moment and uh, I've got a little flintlock pistol. I don't know if you can uh, see this, let's hope it's in focus. What somebody's done, let me come forward a little bit. That's better, that's in focus. Now, is that they've welded a top on the cock and it looks absolutely awful. So what we've done is we've bought a casting that's the right size and we're going to try and fit it. What I'm trying to do is show you what I'm doing. We've got the cock here and we're just tidying up the casting at the moment filing all the get it to back to the, the original to take off the rex the extra from the casting I remember when I first started doing these we used to have to cut them out from solid and then they started making castings which made life a lot easier to actually make a cock out of solid would take round about a day and a half and as an apprentice I'd be given a lump of steel and an old cock either broken off or lost. You'd find something that looked as similar as you can. There's lots of old gun books around. You'd measure it up. And if you were starting from scratch and you'd take the the flint cock out of a solid piece of steel you'd start off by drilling all the holes start with the centre hole that would give you your sizes and when you measure the cock it's what's called the throw on the cock you measure it from the centre of the hole If I can, if I can show you this, from the centre of the hole to the top of the cock there, where the flint goes, that's what's called the throw. I've uh, filed off the flat, now I'm just filing the outside of the cock, take all the casting extra metal off to start with, just to give it the right shape. There's also little folds in the casting that I'm also taking off, just to get it the right shape and size. And just file it round nice and even and then have a look at it.
marks we're still gonna have to case harden it when we finish well, what we got to do is just take out the casting marks from it Just take the file and just file all the casting marks out. Right, the next job is to drill the hole for the top drill through. So we've got the thread size and this is the tapping drill and then we've got to thread it. Once you've drilled the tapping hole, the next job is to thread it. The screw that I've got is BFS732.
dressing you go through with is, is, is a tapered one and then you put a plug through once you've put the taper through then you put a plug through yeah done We've got a new casting um, for the top jaw with a sc sc screw, the shank on it is just slightly oversized. What we've got to do is ream it out so it's the right size. The next job. Now the important thing here is, is to keep it square to the hole. Now it's on an angle so that when the top jaw goes in it tightens it up. So it's not square to the face of the jaw but it's square to the cock and all we do is just ream it out almost there it is almost there, there's a little burr on here which I'm just going to take off on the lathe as you can see it goes in nice now I've reamed it out a bit and I've got to admit I've just taken a little bit off the screw shank just so that it goes in. Next thing to do is to sort out the casting marks if I can put it a bit closer for you so you can see it's got a number stamp there cast in it and then the casting marks there we'll file that out now that's the next job When you're in a gunsmithing workshop and you've got things to hold, not as it very easy to hold this, so what we've done is we've made up a little piece of wood. And the top jaw goes in there. And we put a screw in there. And that holds it so we can file it. Right, we've got the all the casting marks off. We've got the thread done. We cleaned up this, the top jaw. Got the thread in. There you are. Next job, fit the square. and fit it onto the onto the pistol oh hello welcome back yesterday we started on the cock for the pistol uh, unfortunately this morning when I started I had a flat battery on the camera here so we had to um, charge it up so 
what I've done is I've now got the, the, the square done on there so now the square the square fits on the lock so we've got that done and we've polished the hammer up oh, the, the cock up a little bit we've also done the little indentations that are on the jaw that holds the leather is we've got the top jaw we've put little black marks on with a marker and that's for the little indentations that hold the leather so we hold that in the lathe in the in the vice I should say we take a little punch on a little hammer and we just make little marks about a 45 degree angle and just push the metal up just to make little teeth and what happens is the teeth hold the leather and the leather then holds the flint and by putting the black marks on there to start with just don't you to get it even We started repairing old guns and antiques when I worked for Crudgington's in Bath and we had a part-time member of staff his name was Dick Chapman and Dick Chapman used to do up the Ted Cave collection and Ted Cave had all sorts of stuff in his collection he had old 17th and um, 17th century muskets matchlocks flintlocks early air rifles with um, cylinders in the stock and there's a there's, the, there's it blanked out. All we've got to do now is polish it and case harden it. And that's the job done. I'm hoping you can still see this. I'm trying to work to the camera and it isn't easy when you're used to working on the vice and working towards the vice rather than working towards the camera. The jaw's on there. The screw's on there. And that's it. Cock, top jaw and screw. All from a casting. And I reckon it makes a brilliant job. The trick is getting the right casting, the right shape for the lock that you've got. And they do so many of them. You normally get the right style and the right age. There we are, a finished article, we've uh, case hardened it and that gives it that grey colour and just brushed it. We've also put a flint on it as well. I had a flint but I didn't have a piece of leather for it and the leather holds a flint in the jaws so we've got an old piece of leather we've just cut some strips up and made some leather for it oh that looks good and there's the finished pistol cock, chop jaw and screw all fitted brilliant job, I'm quite impressed with that